Hello, 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 hello. Mm, 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 mm. So I'm day off for this gloomy weather. And I feel good. I raised my, vib my vibration. I sit down and um, I'm feeling good. But I wanted to talk about this weight loss journey I'm going through. Weight loss has definitely been a problem for me. My body goes up and down. And I've been going, um, I was thinking on and off about weight loss surgery. I just don't want it. I've done the whole weight loss surgery process a few years ago, right? And I was almost my last, I was at my last appointment. And um, I was supposed to get my surgery. So I, I'm like waiting for him to call me for a date. I did my last call, waiting for a date, waiting for a date. I'm like, why are they not calling me? Why are they not calling me? Mind you, my name is Jasmine Morales. So they're not calling me, and I call I'm getting discouraged. I'm like, listen, I can't deal with this weight no more. I don't know what else to do. This was years ago. And I wasn't even as big as I am now. And um, I call out a place like, you know, I'm waiting for my, my surgery date. Um, why haven't I got it? I haven't gotten a phone. Oh, we've been calling you. I'm like, you haven't been calling me because I've been waiting. So I'm speaking to him, so they put me on hold. And she's like, well, we've been calling you. I'm like, ma'am, I'm telling you. You have not been calling me and she she puts me on hold comes back she goes oh we've been calling jasmine M martinez i'm like but i'm jasmine morales you know i did all my appointments i'm like like i did all my appointments i'm ready for my my surgery date and they're like oh well we're sorry it's kind of i guess it's past the time i don't know what it was but i'm like so what do i do now and she's like you gotta start all over again that was so freaking discouraging. I'm like, this is a, was a long process to even get to this point. And you're telling me that I have to start all over again. I got really, really depressed after that because, you know, um, the way my body works, I went, it was just up and down and it was just like, I was very unhappy and doing the gym and, and my mental status, like I'm, um, I'm an emotional eater. So I was going through my emotional stuff and going through things. And so I was eating. I discovered just now that I'm an emotional eater. Back then, I didn't know that I was an emotional eater. So I went to the doctor, and she gave me Fetamine. And Fetamine was working so good. Like, Fetamine was working so good. I was doing well. I was very dehydrated, which I am now. But I was very dehydrated. Excuse me. But I was dropping weight. weight and I was feeling good, and I was looking good. And, I was, and I'm like, I'm dropping weight. But my mental still was not, was not okay, because... I suffer from depression, anxiety, and all those other, you know, stuff. But my mental wasn't, my weight was doing good. So I went on Fetamine, and she had me on Fetamine for a while. I was doing, I was doing, I was doing it. But I stopped for a while. And now I'm at this, this weight now, because I did Herbalife too, and Herbalife was working so good. And I was doing Herbalife and all that. And, she, and I'm like, okay, I'm doing Herbalife. I realized I'm paying a lot of money for Herbalife. Um, so I had to stop that too. So, I'm at this point right now in my life where I am, like, very unhappy with my weight. I went back to Fetamine, the highest dosage, and my body is just not reacting well to the Fetamine. I wasn't losing any weight. I'm like, what's going on? My body is swelling. Um, my pain in my body, like, is just different. Like, my body is doing something completely different. I'm going to be 40 this year, and I'm like, I got to do something. So, I'm changing the way that I'm eating just... You know, meat and vegetables, no rice, no pasta. I'm on my third day and it's, kind of, it's, it's not bad. Um, but I'm still like, like I only want to be in front of a camera. I only want to, it's like, I'm at this point where I'm trying to get myself out there business wise. And I'm not happy in front of the camera. I'm not happy like doing any videos and all that. I'm, I'm, I'm like struggling. I'm doing these videos and. But I'm, I'm watching them back and I'm looking at myself like I'm so disgusted with myself. So I'm like, I'm going to be 40 this year in October and I got to just do the weight loss surgery. I'm fearful of the mental state of it. I'm fearful of the loose skin. I'm fearful of um, how I'm going to feel with myself. I'm scared that I'm going to be more depressed. I'm scared that I'm going to see myself after surgery and I'm going to be like, I just hate myself. So um, I spoke to somebody who had... I'm not gonna. I'm gonna get the sleeve, but I spoke to someone who's had it, and they were like, they really tell you to do all this cardio. Well, they don't tell you to work out, do the muscle work. 
So I'm going to, my mindset is to do this muscle work. I scheduled my appointment um, for this uh, weight loss surgery. Um, I'm trying to stick to it. I'm trying not to back out. At this point right now, I'm just drinking a lot of water and doing more meats, you know, more meats and vegetables. And I'm like, just so discouraged. My belly is still not feeling the way it's supposed to. And um, when I made my appointment for the weight loss surgery, I'm not discouraged about making it. I don't know what I'm discouraged about. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Is the process, which would be six months for me to um, get all these appointments done all over again. Like, you know, people want things today and tomorrow. It's not possible. And I'm worried about the loose skin. I'm worried that I'm going to see this loose skin in my body and I'm going to be like, I just don't like myself. And my mental can't take that right now. But I'm going to push through with this because um, I have to. My body needs, my body is just not acting right. Um, my body's just not acting right. And it's, so, it's crazy because people think that plus size people, all we do is eat and all that. I don't eat all day. Um, I think it's what I eat. That's why I cut off the potatoes and the rice, um, you know, the starches. But um, and I nibble on like fruits and sometimes I have little cookies. You no, know, but that's in between my that's my snack in between my little. If I even do eat lunch or you know I eat my breakfast, I don't know. This weight, the weight loss is such a stressful situation. Um, it's such a depressing topic, especially when you've tried many things. And um, I'm gonna go to this appointment. I'm not gonna back out because I need my I, I need my body. I have things I gotta do in life, and my body is slowing me down. You know, um, they say it's the it's the I guess the punk way out. But when you've tried everything else, going to the gym, I love going to the gym. I love going to the gym. I love I love it. I love doing the treadmill. Um, I love no sorry, yeah, the treadmill. I got bad knees, so I can't really do it. I love doing the treadmill. I love doing the the bike and I love doing the leg press um it's just I'm so busy it's just I, I need to get myself together but my first step is doing this weight loss appointment and see where it goes from here um that's just it this it's gonna be a tough weight loss journey and I'm, I'm gonna probably take this ride again I don't want to get discouraged no more I'm trying to like push myself like the appointment was I had the appointment set and I was ready to go and they call and they push the appointment back. I'm like, if they push the appointment back again, I'm just going to give up on it. But um, I need it. my body needs this. I'm tired of feeling this way. Um, I was I've never been this big, and this is my body just swells. Oh, you should cut the salt out. Salt. I cut down the salt. Like chips, barely eat chips anymore. And if I do eat chips, I'm buying salt chips. And then my doctor's like portion. I take a portion instead of put my whole hand in the bag, bring it back to the couch. I put some on the plate. So I'm changing and doing some things, and it's like my body's doing good, and I feel good. And it's like the next week or a few days, it's like, bitch, now I'm back. So this is gonna be a long weight loss journey. Weight loss is definitely tough. Weight loss is good. And I've tried everything. I've Googled YouTube, drinks, all that, burn fat, all that. And I'm an apple cider, cider vinegar heifer. I've been drinking that for years, and that helps me lose my inches. But this is a struggle. It's going to be a journey, and it's tough. And it definitely is. It's very uh, mentally. It's tough mentally too. But my body's at that age where it's doing what it wants, and I can't allow it to because I have things I want to do in life. So it's going to be a long weight loss journey.